You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't begin to understand where I come from when it comes to social media. <laughs> Nobody would begin to understand, bro. Social media changed my life, bro. <laughs> my supporters changed my life. I can't even imagine. Changed my life. Oh, I the kids, bro. It changed my kids' life. Oh. I took a break from social media eight days. I cried all the eight days, bro. I'm still gonna cry. It don't make no difference. I gotta sit in my emotions, healing. There's not no linear journey. Maybe I'm having ups, I'm having downs. But I appreciate all my own social media. Like, seriously, I appreciate y'all so much. I'm so happy when the kids don't gotta go through what I went through, but I appreciate y'all. <laughs> She just wiped it on herself. <laughs> Listen, only to my dark skin supporters, I apologize humbly in the humblest of forms. I responded to a comment making fun of my abuse and I went too low. And in the process of trying to offend her, how she hurt my heart, I hurt all my dark skin girlies. I want y'all to understand, if you know me, you know I ride for us. Dark skin, light skin, brown, I don't care what color you is, honey. I done went too low and it was ignorant of me. And I shouldn't have dated. If you don't feel right with supporting me no more, block me, unfollow me, do what you gotta do, sister. But I apologize. Seriously. I need to learn not to let comments make me that mad. I forgot I have a platform. Amen. But I am a human. And when people say fucked up shit and joke about my abuse, I try and say fucked up shit as well. No justifying, just letting you know my brain. Amen. I apologize, sister. I love us, honey. Are you crazy? I love us. We the best. We the blueprint. Fuck you, them out. We'll sing a song about letting that glue dry clear, but you know what? Is is? I don't think the time is right, sisters. Nope. Let's do a moment of silence, actually. All right. Y'all done stressed me out so bad, even the wig balling. Oh. We been for an hour. Oh, and I didn't even tell y'all. She also said she hoped my daughter get S.A. Mm. No. Y'all got it. My bad. My bad. I'm not going to say I'm taking it, honey. We all taking it, honey. But seriously, just to close this off, I do apologize to my dark skin supporters. I never want to offend y'all. Y'all changed my life. Amen. I don't know why I went that route. It was wrong. Hold me accountable. Do what you need to do. Sisters, but I love y'all. Go the hardest for us. We are everything. I just meant to hurt her how she hurt me once again. And that don't make it right. I need to work on that and not let these comments trigger me that bad because I am that bitch. They even talked about Jesus. Wake that up. This would be a cute wig wand curl, okay? Love you guys. This is my thing. The whole TikTok has been on my ass for worse. Are y'all forgetting what they, what they used to call me in 2022, honey? Are y'all forgetting what I went through? Falsely! I never apologize for nothing on my platform. Sincerely, genuinely. I apologize for saying Meg can't rap, but I still think she can't rap. This time I'm apologizing simply because I know I said something offended a whole community of people I did not mean to offend, especially my supporters. If you don't want to take it serious, sister, I'm not going to kiss y'all ass because I ain't never been that type of girl. Y'all don't want to support me? Don't do it. Do what y'all got to do, sisters. But I apologize and I'm sorry. Y'all keep saying stand on it, bald head. I don't want to. I'm on my knees begging my supporters to forgive me because I know I was wrong. But at the end of the day, what's going to come is what's going to come. I'm E. Kane. I'm always going to be E. Kane. Amen. Amen. But please understand me. I don't apologize for no reason. I ain't never been scared of the whole TikTok getting on my ass. It could be me against a thousand. But when I know I'm wrong, I'm a grown woman. And you want some noodles, mommy? Look, I can't even afford no food. <laughs> but no, seriously, y'all. Um, yeah, it's like, what? The whole TikTok been on my ass before.
I really just feel bad because I don't never want to support my, I mean, never want to offend my supporters. That's the last thing I should ever want to do. Y'all changed my life, period. Love you guys. I'm so over this E-Kane situation. When I say situation, I'm not even just talking about the one she has going on at hand. Because every other week, every other month, y'all up here threatening to, oh, we're going to cancel her. She said something or did something that offended y'all. But this is what gets me. You mean to tell me, out of all the things that E-Kane has got up here and said and did, the black comment is what drew the line for y'all? That's what struck y'all nerve. Y'all didn't care about the fact that she got up here and said that she essayed a little boy. Y'all was okay with that. Y'all didn't care about the fact that she got up here and said that she caught 80 bodies before the age of 18. Y'all was actually okay with that. Nobody cared about the fact that she got up here talking about how she caught BV and always got BV. Everybody was okay with that. Nobody cares about the fact that she's inside of a DV relationship that she's pretty much doing day in and day out for likes, whether it's real or fake, whether it's in front of the kids, in front of a grocery store, on the street, at a shoot, it don't matter. None of that mattered to y'all. Just only when she said she was light-skinned and, oh, now that triggered y'all as women? Are you serious? Nothing else triggered y'all. It's like, as BW women as a whole, as a community, I'm going to just go off and say it since y'all act like y'all don't want to. We look pitiful as a whole. We look classless. We look distasteful. And the type of women that we have representing us, this is the type of people that y'all give platforms. Then y'all get mad when they say something to trigger y'all. But I'm going to tell you what gets me. The fact that her, Krishan, We'll give these people these platforms. We'll support them because in the beginning, it's like, dang, we respect it. We respect the grind because it was all about the grind at first when she was just laying wigs, being her silly self. What she got going on now is some stuff I can't relate to. I never followed her to begin with because she's not my cup of tea. However, if I see her on there and she being silly, doing a little rap, laying a wig, I shoot her a like because it's called support. When you see your BW women coming from nothing and you see they coming from a struggle, she's now able to feed her kids. I respect that. But what I don't respect is all this toxinness that's coming along with it. But this is the thing. She'll get up there and say, things like oh well it don't matter y'all can't cancel me because i'm ek and i'm the biggest and i make 40k a month and i got money and even if so we'll put somebody up there and then they'll take that same like and smack us in our face with it now you can't tell her nothing because we done gave her all the money we didn't gave her all the follows we didn't gave her all the likes we didn't gave her the platform and now she does not respect y'all well she apologized she only apologized because she don't want to lose her platform she don't want to lose the acknowledgement she don't want to lose the attention and she damn sure don't want to lose the money you see what's going on with Krishan? We gave Krishan the same platform for being toxic, for fighting her baby daddy day in and day out, fighting everybody for that matter. Y'all don't care about nothing else that makes us look dumb except the fact that somebody says something about a light skin and a dark skin. That ain't never where I drew the line. I think the young lady needs a little bit of help. So for y'all that say, well, we like her because we can relate to her. Okay, so are y'all trauma bonding with the girl? Or y'all just like drama? Or y'all just messy? It's a lot of ways Drama. that y'all can support this girl. I don't see nobody encouraging her to go get no help, go see a therapist, take a step back from social media. This All this is going on in front of this girl's kids, and the only thing that triggered y'all was a comment. Notice that they don't never want to give BW women a platform unless we up there degrading ourselves, unless we up there being distasteful, being ratchet, being loud, being full of drama. That's the only time you will see BW women getting a platform. We don't never support each other when it got nothing to do with positivity. The baddies club and all this E.K. stuff. And for a minute it was Krishan Rock. And now we highlight the sexy reds and all this. As BW women, I don't think y'all understand how dumb we look as a whole. We don't never want to help each other out in a positive way, but we'll help bring each other down. What she does and what she's doing is just a product of the environment of how nonsense she looks. She that don't look none of that stuff that that girl do look good. So I don't I don't really look at E. Kane as crazy. I look at the four million people that's following her as like what this is what y'all following. This is what you want to see in your timeline. Oh, because it's entertaining, man. You better go find another way to entertain yourself because right now I think E. Kane needs to take a step back from social media. I don't think E. Kane knows what to do with the attention. And now that she's getting the money, her personality is starting to change a little bit more and more and more and more. But I, I don't know. I just think as B. W. Women, we all look crazy as a whole, and I'm just tired of us being looked at as one way because as black women we only support one kind of woman and so that's why we look like we all fall in the category as the sexy reds the cardi b's the mag the stallions the glow willis we only look like one type of woman and y'all get mad when the other people look at us like we crazy oh well we ain't trying to impress them man baby impress yourself because i drew the line when the girl said she had 80 bodies 
That's where I drew the line as a black woman with some class moral standards. And y'all drew the line about a comment of colorism. Man, be <laughs> what to do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. And yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my player partner, Lucky Woods Diz. He keeps it lit. Go check out his YouTube channel, Lucky Woods Diz. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We got the HiveMindLabs.com. Get your super fat burners, okay? Unbig your big old back, okay? Don't be at that pool this this summer looking like a beach well. You just laying over there on your side because you can't roll over because your stomach in the way. Come on, man. Unbig that back. Use a discount code everyday PJ check out. Let's get into it, man. Now, <clears throat> as you heard, shout out to Chevy Caprice. Uh, Chevy Caprice, that's with two V's. On TikTok, beautiful black queen, beautiful melanated sister. I'm talking about she fine. But E came, lost, I don't think she lost over a million. I think she lost a few hundred thousand. But because E came was at four point something million. And when she told everybody, you don't gotta follow me if you whatever, whatever, whatever everybody unfollowed her. And she went from the four millions to down to the three millions. So she's at 3.9 now, maybe 3.8 by this moment. But, she, you know, she lost a little bit of support from her comments. But like Chevy Capri said, is this what y'all gonna stand on? Look, man, y'all don't got that much. Y'all don't got much to stand for if y'all just, you know, standing for that. There's a lot more in life to stand for than just because someone doesn't like darker skinned people. You know, and as we talk about darker skinned people or and light skinned people like E. Kane, like that's the same. This, this is the same type of woman that Krishan Rock is. Like, imagine if Krishan Rock was dark skinned, man, she would be call, called dirty, ghetto, um, hood rat, all type of stuff. Nobody, bad build. Uh, Blueface wouldn't even have looked at her twice if she. If she was dark skinned with a missing tooth and that raspy voice, I could see her now. You just be seeing this chick in the hood. Nobody would talk to her. She'd just be fighting everybody. See, Krishan, she's pretty. She don't have to fight. I mean, not not with that missing tooth. She ain't that pretty. But if she had a full smile and she was just, you know, up in your face, you'll be all on that. But if she was black and ugly. I mean, not black and ugly, just black. Her, her darker skin would have made her look horrible. But those are the girls you got to fight off in elementary school. And also, you know, uh, it was some more things E. Kane brought up. Like, you know, oh, the first video was prior to, uh, it's either prior to or right at the time that she said that, uh, made the statement about the girl, uh, the girl, the color of the girl's skin. Well, she was saying she loved her supporters, which I believe her. Um, and she might have felt some type of way because somebody was poking at her insecurity, so she poked back. And my thing is, like Charlemagne the God always says, and I don't, I don't care if you're a Charlemagne fan or not, but what he says is, you can't be, you can't police how somebody reacts. If you punch somebody in the mouth, expect them to either punch you back in the mouth or somebody punch you in the mouth. So, it is. That person reacted. The crowd reacted. Your supporters reacted. And they don't like what you what you had to say and do, E. Kane. It's just, it just is what it is. Um, so, you may have lost a few hundred thousand subscribers. It ain't that bad. Life ain't about the internet and the followers. How many followers can you make money off of in real life? You know, you can't really... You're not making money off the followers. You're making pennies per follower. Less than pennies per followers. So if you're making less than pennies per follower, then, you know, you're not monetizing your followers right. And that's why she, E. Kane can leave and still make good money because she has the stuff rolling. Well, anyway, let me know what y'all think about her apology. Let me know what you think about Chevy Caprice. Let me know what y'all think about the video at the beginning where she talks about, you know, she's, she's talking about her supporters and stuff like that, you know. You know, she, she, I, 
Well, I, I, I'll accept your apology. I just don't watch you like that. I just watch the mess, of course. And when the more, when, as long as you got mess going on, I'm going to watch it. And we're going to react to it, just like Peaches. I'm just waiting on Pe Peach McIntyre. When Peach McIntyre do some more crazy stuff, she just got out of Facebook jail from going live and stuff. So guess what? Peach McIntyre, the, the, the ratchet is back. Everyday people, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to you later. Peace.